welcome back to Summer Hill. I am so glad you came to join me here today. Today we are kicking off a project at my daughter Hannah's new place in Atlanta. She recently tied the knot and has moved into the most charming guest house. We decided to give her a kitchen slash laundry room, a fresh coat of paint and a new look. And we also are going to be working on a DIY shaker peg shelf. Uh, originally, this project was just for me and Hannah, but as you'll see in the video, uh, other family members came along and lent a hand or two. <laughs> so let's dive in and transform this small kitchen while crafting a beautiful shaker peg shelf together. Let's begin by touring my daughter's first home. This is the kitchen laundry room area. It's a very small space, um, but this bright green was definitely not her color of choice. So we're gonna begin by painting this room and then we're gonna make the pegboard. But I thought while we're in here, I'd go ahead and show you the bathroom because we are going to paint this room too. Next, we headed to Sherwin-Williams to pick up the paint color we selected. And while we're there, I thought I would show you a sample of it and talk about it. My daughter wanted a color that was neutral and easy to work with, meaning she could match any other colors with it easily. And accessible beige is one of Sherwin-Williams most sold colors. So we took it outside so we could look at it in natural light because the light outside is so much better than inside the store. Now, let's start painting this project. And the first part we decided to do was go ahead and paint the beadboard that's already there, the accessible beige color. <laughs> I keep forgetting the color. Anyways, um, we went through and painted this. And as you can see, my daughter's using a brush and she's brushing cutting in and brushing everything first. Once Hannah finished cutting in everything, we started rolling all the walls to finish up the um, kitchen area. And then we had some extra help when we started on the bathroom. My other daughter, Savannah, came over and began to help us finish up the bathroom. Next, we made a trip to Home Depot to pick up all of our wood, and we actually asked Home Depot to cut everything for us so we wouldn't have to do it when we got home. But of course, when we got home, we changed our mind on a few things, so again, we asked for additional help, and my um, son-in-law, Jesse, ripped down the boards for us so we could make a thinner pegboard. Unfortunately, the pegboard now was too small for the brackets that I bought from Home Depot, so we needed a new approach. After our Easter dinner, I forgot to mention we did this project on Easter weekend. <laughs> After our Easter dinner, I sketched out a design for um, a custom made bracket out of a one by six. I can think it was about a one by six. Um, luckily, Jesse's father offered to lend a hand. Uh, Eddie is a jack of all trades and he is a skilled craftsman. So he's just the perfect person to show us how to cut out these brackets. So be sure to pay close attention to his technique as he cuts the brackets. It's a great way to learn some valuable woodworking tips too. Oh, and um, don't forget to pay attention to his fine feathered friends that came along to give us some support on the project. You'll get a good, uh, you'll get a good kick out of Thelma and Louise. <laughs> now we're gonna get the good circle. Now it's, you just gotta push just the right amount. Nice and easy start. Watch the chips. 
And the crowd goes wild. That happens a lot to me when I usually do this type of work. So now I'm gonna take this here piece right here and we're gonna cut the circle out of it now. Now you cook, now you cook them with bread. Uh, can you take that little bit yeah, off? You, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you get a good picture of that line? It came right off. Okay. Okay, ready? So this goes here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hey, notice the slacks word. Who else works in church clothes? Where? Shut pencil shop. Look at that line. Look at that line. Well, now that the party is over, uh, we came back in and we painted these beautiful brackets that were so easy to make. I basically cut a 90 degree angle and then used a plate to draw that arch. And that's how I got um, our homemade brackets. Okay, so here's where I'm showing, we are applying the brackets up against the wall on each side. Next, we're going to attach the pegboard to the wall, but, but before I do that, I want to make sure the bracket to the left um, sits evenly with it. And to apply the pegboard to the wall, I'm using a nail gun and I'm attaching the nails through the wood into the studs behind it. Next, I'm adding the other bracket to the cabinet on the other side. Last, we sat the shelf on the brackets, and then I used the nail gun and some pressure to attach the shelf to the peg, the peg rail. Once we got all the wood in place, we used caulk, painter's caulk, to fill in all the joints. We used quick dry painter's caulk so within about 20 minutes, we were able to go over all of that with our paint, and we used an artist paintbrush to do this. And that's it, the shaker peg rail is all done. Okay, so now that we have the project completely done, let's see, do some decorating, and then I'll give you a before and an after of the whole renovation. I mean, makeover. <laughs> To begin, we decided to add a piece of art on top of the shelf, and you may notice this piece if you've been around for a while, because it used to be in her bedroom at my house, over her bed, when we did the antique um, vintage bedroom project. I'll put a link in the description to that. Next, we just added a few little kitchen towels, that cute duck that was a vintage find, and then some beautiful flowers from the garden outside. Next, we decided to add a cute little Harry Potter themed corner. We started with the Harry Potter book and then added this beautiful vintage milk glass lamp. Next is this adorable uh, accessory from Anthropology and then another cute milk glass candlestick holder. Next, we started adding decorations to the pegs um, to kind of hide the outlet, and then this plant helped secure that area too. A cute basket. Um, we went through like ideas of different things, mugs, all kinds of fun stuff you can put on pegs. Let's refresh our memory on what this kitchen, laundry room, and bathroom looked like before. And this is how it looks now.
what'd you think? Did you enjoy coming along with me to Atlanta to do this small project? Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to do more projects at Hannah's house. And I hope you will um, subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss out on future episodes here at Life on Summer Hill. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!